Hello and welcome to Health and Science Channel. Today we are going to discuss bacterial gastroenteritis, or some call it food poisoning or traveler's diarrhea. The content or the points that we are going to cover in this video are What is gastroenteritis? What are the causes of gastroenteritis? What are the symptoms? How to prevent it? And last, we will look at the treatments and natural remedies that can help you at home. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and shown me some support. This means I can keep producing quality content of your choice. For new people visiting my channel, hit the subscription button below to see more videos. Okay, now let's start. What is gastroenteritis? Gastroenteritis is an infection or inflammation of your digestive system, including your stomach and small intestines. Some people refer to it as a tummy bug, food poisoning or traveler's diarrhea. It is generally caused by bacteria, but viruses and parasites can be the culprit in some cases. Typical symptoms include abdominal cramps, diarrhea and vomiting. However, each bacteria causing the infection may present slightly different symptoms. Stay tuned. We will cover each bacteria step by step and explain how each one differs in the symptoms they cause. In many cases, the condition heals itself within a few days. Now let's look at what are the causes of gastroenteritis. We have already established the causes of gastroenteritis are bacterias, viruses, or parasites. But for the purpose of this video, we will only discuss bacteria as this is a vast subject. In future, we will dedicate a whole video to viruses and parasites. Now, let's look at what bacteria, in simple terms, bugs, that cause gastroenteritis. In the bacteria category, First one is Salmonella. There are over 2,000 species, named mainly by the city they were initially discovered. Some of the common ones are Salmonella enteritidis, Salmonella typhimurium, Salmonella typhi, and Paratyphi. The last two, Salmonella typhi and Paratyphi, are more common in developing countries. Salmonella infection is usually caused by eating raw or undercooked meat poultry, and eggs or egg products or by drinking unpasteurized milk. The incubation period, meaning the time between exposure and illness, can vary between 6 hours to 6 days. The second bacteria which causes gastroenteritis is Echoli 0157, Escherichia coli 0157, sometimes called VTC, will cause severe infection that can induce severe stomach pain and bloody diarrhea. This bacteria is naturally found in the intestinal tracts of many farm animals, including healthy cattle, sheep, goats, and deer. Animals can carry E. coli O157 without showing any signs of illness and can shed germs in their stool, contaminating their skin, fur, feathers, and the areas where they live and roam. Most people become infected with E. coli O157 from contaminated food, such as undercooked ground beef or raw or unpasteurized milk. E. coli O157 also can be spread from person to person, particularly in places where frequent and close contact between people occurs, such as nurseries, nursing homes, and school facilities. The third group of bacteria causing gastroenteritis are Campylobacter. This bacteria when it affects humans, the infection will be accompanied by diarrhea, vomiting, fever, and cramps. Over 246,000 human cases are reported annually in Europe, but the actual estimate is believed to be close to a million. Most Campylobacter infections are acquired by eating raw or undercooked poultry or eating something contaminated. Campylobacter is also transmitted by other foods, meat, and produce, by contact with animals, and by drinking untreated water. Third bacteria known to cause stomach bug is Shigella. Shigella can cause food poisoning that results in diarrhea and stomach pain. It is a highly virulent pathogen compromised of four significant species with numerous subtypes. 
The four major species are Shigella sunnii, the most common in the USA, Shigella boidii, Shigella flexinerii, and the lethal one, Shigella dysenterii. Shigella is common in developing countries and is transmitted via the ingestion of contaminated food, poor sanitation, or direct person-to-person -person contact. Other bacteria, such as Vibrio species, Plesiomonas, and Yersinia, can cause gastroenteritis. But in this video, we will only mention them without going into much detail, as they are not that common. Now, let us check the symptoms of these bacteria. We have prepared a chart which you can look at to see the symptoms for each pathogen. From the chart, you can see the first one is Salmonella. Salmonella present with diarrhea, abdominal pain and fever. And usually tend to last 2-3 to three days and in some cases up to 7 days. Second bacteris is Enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli O157, H7. This organism tend to cause severe disease. Symptoms may include watery to severe bloody diarrhea, stomach cramps and occasionally fever. Illness may last within a week but can take up to two weeks in some cases. Second one Campylobacter. Campylobacter is the most common in causing gastroenteritis. Symptoms for this organism are diarrhea with blood mucus, fever, abdominal pain, and vomiting. Symptoms may last between 5 to 7 days. Last is Shigella. Shigella symptoms are diarrhea with blood and mucus, and fever is usually rare. Shigella dysenterii is typically associated with severe illness. Symptoms may last 7 days. What to do when you have gastroenteritis? Number 1. Drink plenty of water to stay dehydrated. Number 2. Take painkillers. Number 3. Get some rest. Number 4. If you feel like eating, you should try simple food like chicken soup, soft rice, and bread. Seek medical attention if Vomiting persists for more than two days. Diarrhea lasts more than several days. Diarrhea turns bloody. Fever is above 102 F, 39 C, or higher. When you feel lightheaded or fainting. Confusion develops. Unsettling abdominal pain develops. What can we do to prevent gastroenteritis? 1. Wash your hand with soap before you eat. 2. Ensure you cook your food thoroughly, especially meat. 3. Stay off work or school until at least 48 hours after the symptoms have passed. For this is a major one. When you go abroad, always drink mineral water, and do not drink from tap water, as some countries may have poor sanitation and the water may be contaminated. Again, when you travel abroad, observe the hygiene standard of the place you are eating, especially when you eat from outside. Street food in some countries is the major cause of bacterial gastroenteritis. What are the natural remedies you can try at home? 1. You can try to eat bananas. Bananas are easy to digest and they have potassium. Banana is a rich source of potassium. This mineral helps to replace electrolytes lost due to frequent loose. Banana is also rich in fiber, which will help solidify your stool and improve your bowel movement. Two other foods you could try are toast, rice, and pasta. All can act as a binding agent and bulk up your stool. 3. Probiotics Researchers have shown that probiotics help, they shorten the illness by one day on average. In some studies, researchers counted how many of the people had no more diarrhea after three days, the findings showed that. About 34 out of 100 people who didn't take probiotics were diarrhea-free after three days. About 55 out of 100 people who took probiotics were diarrhea-free after three days. 5. Peppermint Tea Peppermint tea has been used for centuries to calm the stomach and relieve stomach cramps, bloating, and pain, particularly if you have abdominal irritation. 6. Warm water and lemon. 
This remedy will help boost your body's recovery by restoring its pH balance and also helps ease any cramps or bloating. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscription button below and share it with your friend if you find it useful. See you next time.